Everybody, welcome back to uh, Falcons and Antics in the RimWorld. And I'm taking this through my eyes over here, and, and I know exactly what happened. By the way, this is the April 30th set of recordings. Uh, two things are going to happen today. Number one, I have to uh, pick up after past Falcons mess that he left for me here. As you can see, a shit ton of bodies on the floor. Base destroyed. People having mental breaks imminence, apparently. A lot of people having mental breaks. A lot of people incapacitated, also. So uh, I do remember that we had a crazy raid, and unfortunately, that's what happened. I believe this is the one where they actually invaded inside of the base, which is what caused this whole mess to begin with. So we have to clean up after Pass Falcon number one. Number two, um, I woke up today feeling like shit. Uh, I've been kind of battling this like semi cold going on, but now it feels like it's gonna. It's now it's imminent. You know how this mental break over here is imminent? Well, my cold is completely imminent at this point. I've been trying to battle it off, but I woke up feeling like shit today. So what needs to happen today is I have to record a lot of episodes of RimWorld. So um, keep that in mind. It's gonna be one big long set of recordings. So. If I don't uh, get to, I guess, adding any sort of advice and stuff like that, I don't know why. It's because I have to record a lot today. Otherwise, if I do get really sick, I'm going to sound like this. And I can't necessarily do Let's Play sounding like this. Because I'm going to just scare the shit out of you. And <laughs> that actually hurt my voice is doing that, so I'm going to stop. So, first and foremost, let's get the game going in real time. Everything's going to be real time for a while because um, I need to keep an eye on a lot of people. Particularly Tyree Harris is about to have a mental break right now. It seems. So, Tyra Harris, please don't have a mental break. Just relax, get some food, do whatever you have to do. But just relax. He's getting some food, so maybe that'll help him out a bit. Um, I'm not too sure that it will, but just in case. The Alpha is also no longer incapacitated, uh, which is good, meaning I need to give him a weapon again because the Alpha is one of our better fighters. So, definitely let's get him equipped with a uh, light machine gun. And we gotta keep an eye on all of my people that are gonna come back from incapacitation because they're gonna have no weapons equipped on them, so. In case there's another raid later on, I don't want to be like, Oh, these guys don't have weapons. My top fighters don't have weapons. That's a bad problem. Alrighty, so mental break's still imminent. Tyree Harris, you need to get to where you need to go. Get some rest, do whatever you have to do. But you need to relax, Tyree Harris, right? You, right now, are not being formidable for us, alrighty? The imminent kind of went away, but there's a lot of mental breaks in there happening over here. As you can see. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, you know, things went bad, yeah. And sure, we also lost Axel, which he's right here. By the way, I've made Axel an X just so we don't haul him off and burn him by mistake. Axel, I'm sorry, man. You died, but you died defending our base. Axel died so that we could continue. And I believe Axel was one of the initial guys that actually started the base. So it is a sad day due to that fact alone. Uh, why is this an X out? Put this as a regular one. All right. So let's take a look around here. Make sure everything's good. I have everything that got broken down getting built to go. Uh, I'm not too crazy about these metal embrasures anymore because the Raiders could use them against us. And that's not good. So what do I need to do to kind of avoid this from happening again? Well, there's really not much I can do, honestly. If they land inside, we're kind of fucked. That's kind of the reason why outside bases are scary this time around, because they could land inside. That's the reason why everybody's like, Falcon, don't build it outside. It's a problem, blah, blah, blah. Daiso for the win is actually good to go now as well. Daiso, where are you at, buddy? Daiso, there you are. You also require a weapon because you are a good fighter. Ah, uh, light machine gun. There you go, friend. <clears throat> <clears throat> Again, you also apologize to me if I do any sort of coughing and weird stuff in my nose here. You understand, though, that I, I am unfortunately dying right now, so <laughs> it's a big problem. Steven is no longer incapacitated as well. Where is Steven at? Steven, 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 even Steven, where are you, buddy? There you go. You're getting out of bed right now. He's a pirate. Uh, shooting five, almost a six, so not exactly the best fighter, but hey, you know what? Last episode, we relied on the aptitude of a lot of non-good fighters to kind of save us, and that's what basically got us through. <coughs> oh, God. Throat's really killing me. How long? I wonder how long I could last for today. So, what I'm going to do on oh, Gamer420 is no longer incapacitated as well. Gamer420, where are you at? Probably smoking a doobie somewhere. Uh, shooting almost a six as well, so not too bad. Gamer, let me hook you up with... Uh, can't get that one. Can't get that one. Alright, get this one then. Apparently all the ones that I went after, they were already uh, called for. So let's speed it up just a little bit, because the mental breaks are indeed taken care of now. But we got to keep make sure that, alright, Crazy Sam is no longer incapacitated, and Crazy Sam is one of our better fighters. And one of our initial founders too, so. Uh, he got injured last episode, but he got injured protecting us from uh, the evil doers. Or not evil doers, I feel like George W. Bush when I say that. Ah, uh, we got to protect the free world from the evil doers. <laughs> uh, that's, my, that's the best I can do for George W. Bush. Uh, it's not great or anything like that, but it's not supposed to be great. It's supposed to be more in mockery than anything. If you're a big W George W. Bush fan, then I apologize if that was insulting to you. Um, let's see. I I'm American myself, so believe me, I had to deal with him for two terms. 
Uh, let's see, Harrison. Harrison, um, shooting. Yeah, good shot. Indeed. So, Harrison, let me go and hook you up with uh, one of these as well. <clears throat> All right. So, everybody's going back to doing their thing. We still have a lot of bodies to haul off, and we have a lot of uh, things to rebuild, so let's all keep that in mind. Uh, power is still going to be an issue. Now, recently, one of the comments that I read, um, just recently, and it's going to come in really handy, somebody told me, Falcon, use the laser drills to make your own steam geysers. And that's amazing! I didn't know you could do that with the laser drills. Uh, the laser drills, if you are not familiar with that, they are going to be in the building section and... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Falcon, did you get this right or are you wrong? Here we go, laser drill. Oh, god damn it, it requires uranium though. Why don't I have uranium? Because I sold the uranium that I had. So, if we do get a, a, a trader ship, I hope it has uranium because we do have to, do have to indeed uh, purchase some uranium soon because otherwise we're in a deep trouble here. Uh, laser drills, what this do is that they make your own man-made uh, geysers, which kind of sounds a little bit sexual in reality, but it's not supposed to. <laughs> but that's what it does. Um, because, you see, we're not really storing up much power here because we have a lot of lights going on everywhere. So, um, that's going to definitely keep something in mind. And we don't have exactly crazy amounts of metal right now, especially as we have to rebuild turrets. It's going to cost us a lot of metal to actually kind of keep going. What is this? Local scrolls got mad. Okay, that's okay. For a second there, I was like, don't tell me it's a raid. We're not ready for raids right now. I mean, right now would be the perfect opportunity for some raiders to come after us. Um, I hope I just didn't jinx this for uh, this playthrough here. And Myung Sung is fully healed. Alright, so Myung Sung was good to go, I believe. Myung Sung, do you have a weapon? You definitely do. Okay. So right now we're hauling bodies off. Uh, Crazy Squirrel is going to be coming after us soon. Oh, there it is. As a matter of fact. Uh, guys, don't be putting... Did you... Okay, good. Yeah, don't put any, um, you know, uh, raiders in here. So for now, let's just go and put this as a negative. Uh, nothing goes in there. Anthony Wood, can you do me a favor and just uh, destroy this fucking squirrel before it uh, tries to be a dick to somebody? Yeah, preferably. It's going after Mark Foley Jr. for some reason. Mark Foley Jr. must have done something to the squirrel's family or lifetime or something. Because this squirrel is heavy. It has, does indeed have it in for him right now. Just kill the squirrel. Thank you. Uh, let's get this hauled off. You could undraft now. Excellent. Alrighty, and let's see here. Make this X and make this X. And make this an X as well. X gonna give it to you. You guys remember DMX? Rough Rider! Ooh. And, you know, it's funny about DMX. Like, uh, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was a DMX fan growing up. You know, I was in high school. I was very, very influenced. Uh, I was easily influenced by, you know, pop culture and what was popular at the time. So, yeah. yeah I walked around going, Rrr, Rough Riders, Rrr. And which was funny because, you know, it's just like this fucking white guy saying that and everybody's just like, you know, you do realize you're you're not, you know, of the, uh, I guess, variety that should be saying that, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah but, you know, X gonna give it to you. And that was kind of like my catchphrase for the rest of my life, apparently. Because I still say that to this day. It's like, you know, whenever I have the chance, I'll be like, X? Oh, yeah, X gonna give it to you. And people stare at me like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm like, um, X. <laughs> That's the end of my story. <laughs> what do you mean, Falcon X? Yeah. Okay, cool. Whatever you say, bro. Um, so, <laughs> either way, that aside. Uh, funky UNC is fully healed. Alrighty, so, come on, guys. We need to build these turrets. Man, it's gonna cost us a lot of metal. As you can see, our metal supply is dwindling quite fast. So, the other thing that we are gonna have to do is once we're done with these rooms over here, is actually start ordering some mining parties to take place. Ah! We're gonna find some metal over here, which is good. But let's start thinking about making more rooms, not because we need them just yet, but only because it'll give us a, a chance to kind of mine out some areas over here. So let's do five like so. This is five, Falcon. Be sure to count correctly. You're a grown man. You should be able to count up to five by five quite easily at this point in life. If you can't, then you know what? I'm going to have problems. Or I guess you've been having problems if that's the case. Uh, five and five. And do another 5x5 five five here. Again, this is not because we need the rooms just yet, but if we at least mine them out, have them ready, then we'll be able to do a little bit of a passage through here for one. Right? And then after we get that, I want to be able to... Ah, uh, let's see. Let's make another one, like, through here. This is all for the sake of finding some metal vines, by the way, or metal veins, whatever you want to call it. Every time I say vein, though, I always think of the uh, new metal band, Mudvein. Again, showing my age. You guys remember Mudvayne? I'm pretty sure most of you don't. <laughs> and you know what? If you don't remember Mudvayne, I, I envy you because goddamn it, 
Mudvayne was kind of like, you know, Slipknot, right? Slipknot, something most people will be familiar with, just because they were, you know, particularly popular. But, um, let's see. Can I, I can make another room through here. I just have to be a little bit more... Uh-oh. I have to be a little bit more critical about it like that. Uh, what do we have here? Mental bricks soon? Ryan Waller? Ryan Waller, you're sleeping, so you need to relax, all right? If you're having a bad dream, I can't control that, okay? Whatever goes on in your head is completely different to what I could actually help you out with. Um, let's see. Have I ordered some home zones over here? But yeah, uh, Mudvayne was kind of like a weird... Almost a... not really a knockoff of Slipknot, but you know, it was... Typically the same type of music, for one. And they had a gimmick, and their gimmick was, uh, you know, not mask, but... I think it was face paint, and like one of them had like one of the scariest fucking face paints of all time. Like he looked like a fucking demon out of like, you know, your craziest dreams. But I mean, that was their thing, you know, that's, that's what they liked, that's what they did, and you know, you can't really fault them for it, but... Again, their music is kind of like, eh, you know, I've heard it before. Uh, so, okay, so, most of the bodies here have been hauled off. There's still a few more that do need to be hauled off, however. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to put all these bodies in there before we, uh run out of room so we're gonna definitely have to uh, burn before we actually move on so one more body should do it um, whoever has that body though come on all right Kilroy thank you for that Kilroy Anthony Wood is completely healed now excellent so now let's find bread bowl really quickly here again this is gonna be kind of a recovery episode so hopefully you guys understand why there's nothing too crazy going on but we do need to find metal and we need to clean up the base and rebuild all the shit that the Raiders put us in through here so bread bowl you come over here you're gonna have to do a little bit of a uh oh uh, Funky, get out of there, please. I'm about to burn those areas, and I don't want you to get caught in the blast fire here. And the crossfire! You can do it, draw! Crossfire! Or either way. Uh, so you can run off now. Thank you for that, Bread Bull. Now, I hope nobody comes in while there's a raging inferno here with bodies, because you're going to currently catch fire. And I would rather like you guys not to, uh, you know, suffer from third, second degree burns or anything like that. Alright, so I'm going to take care of most of them. Oh, here comes the bodies. Guys, please be very careful. Tyree Harris! Tyree Harris, you know, you were the one that was about to have a mental break soon, and now what you're doing, you're just running through fucking fire. Alright, come on. Zing, Z-King, Z-King, you two need to relax as well, okay? You guys are just uh, gluttons for pain and punishment, apparently. <laughs> Be very careful, guys. Hot damn it. I guess I just, I should just hold off until the rest of the bodies burn, but you know what? I, I, just, I don't got time for that, man. We have a lot of things to do. These bodies need to get taken care of soon enough so that we could, um, you know, completely do what we're up to here. Alright, so I think most of the bodies, except for Ken Chen, have been cleared up, which is good, meaning now Ken Chen could go over here. And what I will do is I'm going to make this uh, critical for now, and we'll put human in a corpus. And what I want, hopefully, what this will make it happen for us is that don't take a body over there, right? All the bodies have been taken care of? Yeah. So let's go and get Axel picked up soon enough hopefully what do we have here trade ship okay and they're a combat ship fucking finally i can finally sell some of these extra goddamn weapons that i have excellent um batman where is uh the cape crusader batman where the fuck have you run off to this time all right this is no time to be fighting a joker in your dreams apparently because you're sleeping go over here call the west traders all right you can sleep later right now we have uh bigger fish to fry they don't deal with people but they deal with weapons which is good we are gonna make some killing off of this do you guys sell uranium please tell me you do you don't um, is any of this uranium? Uh, what is this? Squirrel. Squirrel crate, um, boomerang crate? <laughs> Muffalo crate? Um, okay, well, apparently you guys sell a lot of, uh, minced meat, I suppose, but I'm not really in the market for that right now. What is this? Missiles. Alright. Um, so, unfortunately, we can't buy any slaves from them. It's unfortunate, but let's sell some weapons because we will technically should make a killing off of this. So, um, let's get rid of, uh, Molotov cocktails first. Just because, you know, they're kind of like, uh, Taking up space right now, we don't need that many Molotov cocktails. We only need at least one on Bread Bowl to burn bodies, but that's about it. So we could sell that for sure, and Molotovs for sure. Get the hell on out of here. Uzis have pretty much uh, lived up to their use here. Molotov, Molotov, and another Uzi. Alrighty, so now we're going to start selling some of the bigger guns here. Uh, let's sell that, sell this. I guess at this point we can just kind of go down the line. Because love isn't always in time, right? I'm sorry if I'm really showing my age in this episode, like over here making all these fucking obscure references that only a 75-year-old man would be acquainted with. I'm not a 75-year-old man, but I, t I tell you, I feel like one right now because I feel really ill, but, you know, I'm still pushing through. Still trying to push it to the limit. We're about to sell everything that we have. Are we? No, no, we still have a lot more, but um, just about, it feels that way. So I'll sell that off and light machine guns, light machine guns again. I'm not too, I don't feel too bad about this because Raiders obviously now bring, like, 
a fucking entire militia against us, so these uh, weapons will be able to be refilled quite easily. Especially if you need to smelt them down for metal, which we might be the case if we don't find a metal vine soon. I'm gonna have to start uh, smelting some of the extra weapons that we have. Okay, so that's good. We've pretty much bought them out completely of their silver supply. And they have nothing else that I really want, so... Thank you for that, guys. Close it off. Batman, can you do me a favor? Can you, um... Trigger the old age uh, wife's tale of uh, triggering this three times to increase our trade ship capacity. Thank you, sir. And here comes all that extra silver. Now, with all this extra silver, it's going to give us an issue here. Oh, it actually stacks up to 400? Okay, that's actually going to be pretty good. Let's make it so that this right here could also take some silver. Right? And same with this. There you go. Excellent. So hopefully that'll be more than enough that we need. What do we have here? Uh, oh, an escape pod. Good. Another prison for us. Blair. Blair, the, oh, scientist. Ah, oh, research. Yeah, I figured. Research amazing. Everything else is kind of really subpar and minimal. All right, Sarah Blair, I'll rescue you. But you know what? I'm not too happy about your, uh, I guess your uh, ability to do good here. Uh, are you taking? All right, Fire Hedge is going to go and bury Axel right now. So it's a sad moment indeed. I, I agree. But, you know, it's something that has to happen. So Mighty Mikey, you go and rescue... Blair Underwood or the Blair Witch pro uh, the, Bla the Blair Witch uh, yeah Blair Witch that's what, that's what I'm trying to get at here I love the Blair Witch growing up by the way um, if you guys aren't familiar with the Blair Witch I assume some of you most of you should be but in case you aren't it's basically what started the whole craze of uh, found footage films and it was done perfectly by the way the fact it was like a horror movie right obviously found footage horror goes hand in hand right it's kind of like you know peanut butter and jelly you can't have the peanut butter without the jelly you can't have the jelly without the peanut butter um, I guess if you take it that way, I'm, I'm a big fan of both, so I gotta have them together at all times. Otherwise, when people are like going to peanut butter sandwich, it's like, yeah, where's the jelly though? Uh, we don't have any jelly, Falcon. Well, you are an imbecile. You're crazy. How can you not have jelly with the peanut butter? I feel like I'm on a ramble here, but either way, um, Blair Witch, what start, it started off almost a found footage type of thing, basically. I don't want to spoil it for you if you want to go check it out, but. Let's just say that at the time it wasn't too common of a type of movie, you know, found footage films. And because the internet wasn't as prevalent back then, it was, but not as crazy as it is today where you know everything just by, you know, Googling it. It's like, oh, here's the results to everything that you're looking for, you know. The meaning of life? Google it. There it is. But um, at the time, you know, it was because the internet wasn't so prevalent that everybody thought that what happened in the film was legit. The actors actually went into hiding for quite a while. And they went into hiding for like a month or two to kind of play it off to make sure, oh shit, these weren't actors, what the fuck? And they got like independent actors, like small actors that nobody really knew about. And they had like viral stuff going on. They had like documentaries of their family being like talking about their long lost loved ones and stuff. It was crazy. It was good. Um, but yeah, definitely. If you haven't checked it out, be sure to do it. You'll be doing yourself a favor. Even if you're not a fan of the found footage films, you'll be doing yourself a favor. Um, all right. So we found quite a bit of metal, thankfully. Not a bit of metal, but at least a, a good amount. So let's actually continue mining out through this side. It's going to ruin this room, but that's fine for now. Let's uh, mine through here. Mine this out where we're added. And mine this. This right here. And get all of this intact as well. Did I just uh, cancel that? I kind of normally did a bit. All right. There we go. So that's going to help us out a bit, hopefully. And uh, is our turrets back up and running? They totally are. But turrets, you don't need to be on right now because we're having a issue with... Uh, I guess power right now, so let's get that out of the way. A mysterious body has destroyed my crops. That's unfortunate. However, we do have a good amount of food, so I'm not too necessarily upset about that just yet. All right. Um, power is our biggest concern right now. Our batteries are storing up, but, you know, obviously I'd love these to be completely filled just in case we're into a situation where we're getting attacked at night. Our solar panels can't do the job, and one geothermal will not be enough to cover everything that we have going on over here. Um, if we do get the laser drill up and running, I kind of want to drill around here, make some geothermals like in here so it's kind of safe, and then I'll run a power conduit through there and yada, yada, yada. You know the drill, right? Obviously, at this point, you guys know the drill. We are going to probably need to make a few more spools, however, just because a lot of the extra stuff that I'm going to build are going to require some of that. So uh, while they're kind of doing their thing, let's make sure that um, smelting metal, yeah, I guess that's fine for now. But I do need to make some wire spool here. It's gonna require the thing about wire spool is that it requires some of our metal. So you know, I do have to sacrifice some of the little metal that I have in order for this to kind of work. So let's say um, we do it like this, right? And let's not get too crazy about this. Let's maybe do it like I don't know, like a hundred spool for now, and then we'll kind of uh, go as we go. We'll kind of keep an eye on it, and make sure it's not 
dwindling our metal supply too much here. Oh, and my bad. Ju oh, no, no. You're, you're good. Uh, I, I thought that Judo Shop was still uh, militarized, but he was never militarized. It was Mighty Mike. It was militarized instead. All right. So everything's looking pretty good here so far. Metal's being taken care of. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Look at this metal supply over here. Uh, mine this, please. All right. Good, good, good. And there, this has to be picked up as well. We'll probably need to put some lights over here just so we can avoid guys going crazy. But at the same time, I'm in a critical situation right now where it's like lights are kind of really critical right now. You know what I'm going to do? Let's turn off the lights in the rooms for now. Hopefully it doesn't affect these guys too much. But I'd rather like to build up some power and then if it comes down to it, we'll turn those lights on. Either way, they're sleeping right now. You guys don't... Who sleeps with the lights on? You know what? If you guys are scared that a monster's going to come out under your bed and like scare the shit out of you, then maybe this colony isn't for you because I need real strong upholding men All right, and women men and women obviously uh, it's an equal opportunity situation here in uh big bad booty villa oh shit oh <gasps> raiders just landed inside do you see all that those are all raiders fyi Like, when this landed right now, I was like, what the fuck's landing here? There's a lot. And then I saw the red thing. Okay, those are raiders. Um, we are in big trouble. Turn those on. Uh, that's on as well. Okay. Um, shit. They are going to destroy our power completely. They're going to drag down all of our solar generators. Okay, um, fuck me, man. Um, Kilroy, you need to come inside really quickly. Okay, um, everybody needs to relax now and... Are you kidding me? Like, back to back of this? This is like fucking torture at this point. The storyteller wants to fuck me over completely here. Okay. Um. Scary. Situation. Scary stuff. Um. Scary stuff indeed. How are we gonna do this? I, I don't even know. I absolutely do not know. Uh. Alright, everybody has to be militarized, obviously, for one. I hope everybody is- Everybody seems to be relatively inside the base, though. So let's militarize people. And oh my fucking lord. Uh, I don't even know how I'm going to do this. Uh, okay. Alright. Alright. This is the worst type of situation that could have happened right now. I, I don't know what these guys are going to do. I I'd rather have them come outside and, like, you know, face me like a man with my turrets. <laughs> but let's be serious here. It's probably not going to happen. Alrighty. Um, everybody has to, I guess, go outside for now. Or not even outside. They're locked in here for the most part, right? I mean, they kind of are. How can I get them to leave this area without causing an issue, is the real question. And I honestly don't have the answer to that right now. I am honestly quite terrified to press play right now and actually continue this. I'm actually going to leave this for the next episode because I felt this has gone long enough. So guys, um, this might be the end of the episode, ne uh, the end of the colony next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I thought everything was going good looking up and then this shit happens right here and... God damn it. I'll catch you guys next time.